what's going on my dudes i got a special edition here i got a shootout commentary here i'm gonna do my first edition uh i got a couple cool matches i'm gonna show you guys a couple uh a couple of cool rivalries as you can see the first one here is the Leafs against the Ottawa Senators my team's the Leafs all the time I'm gonna try to stick to that for the most part because uh, yeah like I said I don't mind uh, using them because they're not too bad actually this year um, but yeah like I said, I'm gonna get uh, get started here with a shootout commentary I'm gonna do you know just show some highlights obviously of it um, I'm gonna uh, pack three of them into this video hopefully see if uh, that obviously works out uh, I apologize for some of the other stuff. Um, some of the other stuff has had some trouble uploading and whatnot. But yeah, like I said, in my SHL series, I'm just going to move on to the next one. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on that soon. My Hut series, uh, I got part two and three. Should be ready and up and ready to go soon. Um, they're all ready, just uh, waiting to be released, I guess you can call it. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this type of stuff too. Um, yeah, there's some decent moves. Keeps you guys uh, interested the whole time. I wasn't even ready for that at all. Like, I don't even know if you noticed. I, I wasn't ready for that one at all. I stopped him without even like having my controller ready. I think my controller actually died, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got Phil the Thrill coming in. My uh, The base of my online character. Yeah, see, he sucks in shootouts, man. That's why he doesn't shoot for us in the in the regular season. I don't know, but like I said, he's, he can bury during the game, but he just can't score during shootouts. It happens sometimes. JVR is sick in the shootouts, and you know what I mean? Like, he scores during the game, too. Don't get me wrong but phil's more of a goal scorer during the game for us i guess you can say i don't know what this guy was trying to do with that one wait for me to move but that's kind of like my uh, strategy i guess going into shootout actually in nhl i believe it was 09 or 10 that was top 500 top 400 something like that in shootouts um when people actually played it all the time people play it more now i think people are playing more, more different modes i think this year and last year more so this year obviously but starting last year they start to play a little bit more of the other modes and get into them a little bit more so than i think 10 and 11 because 10 and 11 we really got into the shl the club matches and stuff like that and play with your buddies and whatnot then when that start to shrink and you can only play one one dressing room you know what i mean that started to get weird oh this game yeah this game was uh this game was funny um yeah this this kid was so weird he he, he picks uh he picked team canada uh, as you're gonna see in a second here um, he picked Team Canada, and I was a Toronto Maple Leafs. So I said, you know what, I was going to do it anyways, but then I said, you know what, I'm going to do it to this kid because it was some little punk kid. I said, you know what, I'm going to pick the Legends. He said, you can't be the Legends, I can't be the Legends, I'm, I'm the Legends. He said, or he said, I'm, I'm, or he said, the Legends aren't fair. He said, you're Team Canada. So how is that even fair? How is that not fair? He says, oh, no, the Legends have everybody on them. Team Canada doesn't have anybody on them. They're just uh, NHLers. I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm like, okay, I'll have to pick someone like a national team. I guess I got to pick. Uh, so I ended up uh, picking Russia and, or ended up uh, going with Russia in a couple seconds, as you could, um, you're, you're going to find out here. But, um, yeah, I guess it was more of an even match for him. Uh, another heated rivalry. Like I said, I want to go with a rivalry in that case. And Team Canada, you can't really pick a team from the NHL because Team Canada would just kick anyone's ass from the NHL, if you ask me. Um, even in shootout. I, I was going to try with the Leaf, but like I said, it was, uh, it was a kid. I wanted to try and, try and compete. Like I said, he's probably pretty decent playing all the time. And yeah, like I said, we got, uh, we got over here. Um, hey, it's okay. But, um, yeah, like I said, well, hopefully you guys enjoy the shootout stuff. Um, if you guys want to play a game or you guys think you guys can beat me, obviously, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm always interested in playing a game. If you guys want to do that, too, if you guys are Xbox guys, you let me know. Uh, follow me at VinnyKeys19, obviously. I always like to mention that type of stuff so you guys can uh, continue to get up to date on updates. If you guys are liking the videos and you guys want to know what's going on with the series, if I'm going to do more videos, or if you missed something, or if you're, you know what I mean, you're expecting something or whatever if you're expecting something for a possible giveaway or whatever anything like that you know what i mean you let me know um but yeah like i said you can tell that he's like, this is if this is what happens in sochi you know what i mean i'll be happy because like i said I'm a, I'm a proud canadian um but like i said but at the same time it's uh it, it it was pretty weird uh he got me on uh he got me on the first one because i missed the net with ovi but yeah it's okay um like i said we're not in this to win shoot it to win i'm here for actually uh tips and just commentary for this type of a video or for this video specifically um i guess you can say if i'm gonna get into tips i would say 
For me, um, I would say just waiting, I guess. Obviously, it sounds simple, but just trying to wait, I guess, for as much as you can uh, for the goalie to make any type of a move. Um, and then, you know what I mean? If you go in with a set move, it kind of doesn't work unless it's on a computer goalie because computer goalies kind of react off of you for the most part because um, they're AI, obviously artificial intelligence. But at the same time, with this type of stuff with a regular goalie, um, yeah, see, I think my controller died there again. But yeah, at the same, and I st and I still stopped him. But yeah, at the same time, they said with this thing, it's waiting. See, as you can tell, there, it's just waiting for the goalie to make a little bit of a move, and then if you can tell him, or see or see that he's about to commit to one side or the other. Obviously, if you can have the patience or uh, the savvy, I guess you can say, on the controller to make the quick left or quick right. And just shoot it, obviously, into the open net because the goalie will be highly committed to whatever opposite direction. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. The the, the shootout, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, like I said, I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy it when I'm waiting for my club to, to play a game or waiting for my club to get back on or, you know, to do whatever we're doing that day. Um, but, yeah, like I said, he... Uh, he, he he was pretty good this guy for for a kid obviously but like i said these guys played more a little bit more than me but at this time i'm getting a little bit better with the shootouts um as you can tell like my you might see from my club you guys might think oh yeah he sucks but my team really does suck um as this guy buried the winner on me but uh, yeah it's okay like i said we're gonna go on to another one here we had a couple great uh rivalries with uh, team canada and russia and then uh, before that we had uh, the Senators and obviously my Maple Leafs. We'll see who uh, we got here for the third game. Should be interesting. It's Saturday, Saturday night. I don't know who's playing tonight, boys. But uh, yeah, we're back on schedule for the Leafs. And I guess we're playing against that exact same team. It's going to come up here in a second. He's going to come up and pick those Montreal Canadiens, those pesky French uh, Montreal Canadiens. Uh, we're going to play the third rivalry game of the shootouts here. Uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty interesting. You saw some pretty cool dangles so far, some decent moves, some good goals. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the same same order. I don't really mind. Like I said Kadri, Lupo, all the all the guys, Kessel, Van Riemsdyk. Um yeah, I just don't like when they sometimes throw a defenseman in randomly. That's why I like to check for the most part um, before as uh, Kadri throws a little bit of the dangle. This guy's been on the trade trade block the last little while, which I don't mind right now, to be honest. The guy's kind of the odd man out with the way Carlisle wants to play or wants him to play or wants the team to play. Um, and I don't know. He thinks he's better than he is, to be honest with you. He wants big-time money, and he's just I just don't feel like he's worth it. You know what I mean? Big-time money. You know what I mean? If he wants to be a part of the team, you know what I mean, for a lesser or less amount of money, obviously, to be, you know, part of the team. I don't know. If, hey, there's Philly actually bearing a shootout goal. <laughs> but, yeah, if he wants to be a part of it, hey, you, you can do that. But, you know what I mean? If you want to make $5, 6000000 million, you know what I mean? You think you're going to be on a top team. Nazem Kadri is not going to cut it for you. I, I don't feel. You know what I mean? At least not yet. Uh, I don't want to slight the guy. Uh, he might be a good player. Uh, in the future, uh, and usually they are once they leave Toronto. But like I said, he's looking like he's a little bit of a trade bait right now. Obviously, James Reimer looks that way. But I don't know if they're going to do that. You know what I mean? I don't know if they're going to get rid of him. I like both the goalies right now. That gives uh, puts pressure on each other to play well. Obviously, good pressure. Um, I think James is a good team player. Uh, Mr. Reimer there and Bernier. Like I said, the only thing I think Bernier has to do is start owning the goals that he lets in that are bad goals. You know what I mean? If he can start owning those goals, he should. You should be okay, you know what I mean, other than that. You know what I mean? Carlisle's kind of anointed him number one. But, yeah, that's all good. He says, as you can tell, this guy just uh, buried one. But at the same time, I'm uh, still leading here. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I said, we're, we got a big game uh, against the Canadians coming up tonight. Hopefully, uh, we the boys can get it done and uh, make it four in a row. That would be beautiful. Um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's always a tough game against Canadians. People always say, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no rivalry. And here's another one, David Clarkson. Uh, he's struggling so far this year, but the last couple games he was actually picking it up He just got put in an injury reserve unfortunately, but you know you live and die by the sword the way he plays unfortunately And uh, he missed there because he doesn't have too much hands But like I said I don't know if, uh, who else I could really pick besides uh, the guys that are already in the shootout right now uh, Maybe Mason Raymond I guess you could say which is uh, right here, but or sorry This is JVR but Mason Raymond and just yeah JVR typical he got back on the snide a little while ago actually too, which is nice uh, in the shootout. But yeah, like I said, guys, hopefully you guys like, enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, check back soon. I got another cool one. It's like probably the longest shootout I've ever been a part of. You guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, yeah, like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll check back soon. Later, guys.